This is Fry Bucket. This is Disney World. Fry Bucket must ride every ride in Disney World before she's allowed to sleep. I'm about to ride every single ride in Disney World, but I won't sleep until I complete the challenge. I already got my coffee, let's go. Now in this challenge, I am going to try to be as strategic as possible to get through all of these rides as quickly as possible. So I will be sharing tips and tricks throughout the video that might come in handy if you've got a short trip to Disney World coming up and you wanna maximize your ride count, or if for some strange reason, you also want to complete this no sleep challenge. I'm hoping to finish in two days, but I have been watching wait times lately and there is a slight chance that I might have a few rides left over on day three. Now I'm just going for rides in this challenge, not shows. And how we are classifying what a ride is, is anything with a seat that moves. So Carousel of Progress, ride. Enchanted Tiki Room, not a ride. I'm on my way to meet Fry Bucket because I'm her babysitter, day one of her no sleep till something. I don't know, are we staying awake? Is there a goal? Now our team loves to throw out ridiculous ideas for challenges that we do on the channel. And this one started out as a joke, but I really liked this idea and I think I could do it. And I convinced everyone to actually let me try it. But now that I'm here, um. This is about having fun. And if fun for Fry Bucket means not sleeping, who am I to rain on her parade? Fry Bucket has told me she's rope dropping Adventureland. Now my first problem is the fact that Fry Bucket is not tall, okay? We did it, I found you. Okay, so um, how are you doing in terms of coffee? Um, I've already had two. You've had two? And it's 8.54 in the morning. On your first day? Yes. Did you sleep a full eight hours last night? No. How long did you sleep? Well, so I was doing work for a previous video. Okay. Um, uploading footage. Yes. And then it was like 11.30 at night. Uh -huh. And oh. then I was like, well, I should just wait 30 more minutes and buy Genie Plus so I don't have to do that in the morning. Okay. So I waited until midnight to buy Genie Plus and mm -hmm. then I went to sleep. How much was Genie Plus today? It was 20. Oh, so it is elevated, but yes. not to the level we have seen it. Are you gonna ride the first ride or are you just taking me there? No, I, I'm only babysitting you today. Okay. I'm literally not gonna ride a single ride with you. I'm taking you from place to place making sure you get there safely, making sure you don't fall over and, mm -hmm. you know, skin your knee. <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead. I'm not gonna slow you down, so if you need to go, you okay. go. It's like scavenger but, hunt. But just know I'll be there waiting for you after the ride. Okay. Every time, I'm gonna make sure you get on and off safely. So also let it be known that yes. it is 40 degrees outside. Yeah. It's very cold. Yes. And hopefully we're gonna see as we turn the corner. I'd like to do Splash Mountain first. So that your whole day is ruined and you get sick the first day? Yeah. Cool. It's literally Splash Mountain's last week to be open forever. That's right. And I don't want that to mess up any of my strategy. So if we can get, knock this one out first, I think we'd be good. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Um, what is it closed? I think it's closed. Okay, uh, and it looks like Big Thunder's closed. Oh, they're both delayed. Okay, Here think fast. Empty boats. The fry bucket story. She's walking fast again. Oh wait, I'm day one. Maybe I should have asked for day two. Oh. All right, this one looks more promising. Walking up to Pirates of the Caribbean. This is a classic Disney dark boat ride. It's a fan favorite. Oh, wait time five minutes, that's perfect. Um, this one is a fan favorite by all ears readers. It always wins every single ride bracket that we do. Everybody loves it and for good reason. So this is a great way to start our day. Okay. Be safe and do not talk to strangers. Yes, Dad. Okay, I'll see you out here. Have fun. I wore my Beach Boys hat today um, to fit in with the whole dad parent theme. Um, for all you Kokomo loving dads out there, um, Jimmy Buffett fans, um, anyone who likes a uh, tropical cocktail. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, that is my look today. That's my inspiration for my look. Time to go find Breedlove. 
Where is? Um, according to the app, Big Thunder is five minutes. So we're gonna walk back that way again. I don't know where Breed Love is. We have to keep going. For this challenge, there is a penalty if I fall asleep. If I fall asleep at any point, the challenge is over and that's it, we're done. One of my limitations is that not only am I racing time in this challenge because I would like to get it done as quickly as possible, but also I am racing against my producers who have the power to decide that I'm too tired to keep going. So at any point, if they feel necessary, they will call off the challenge and it will be over. I don't want that to happen, of course, but I also want to be safe while doing this challenge. So I promise no one needs to worry about me. Everyone is taking shifts and they are literally babysitting me. Mm -hmm. Not seeing fry bucket anywhere. Also, so I got up this morning at 7 a.m. booked Jungle Cruise as a lightning lane. I just, while I was in line for Pirates, I got the individual lightning lane for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So I am using Genie Plus to complete this challenge. I would not be doing this standby. I cannot book my next Genie Plus until 11. And it is currently 9.25. So we're gonna try some rope drop strategies to get through a bunch of these rides first. It still says five minutes. I'm a little weary of that now. Oh, they just opened up a couple extra ropes. As long as it's under 30 minutes, I think I'm gonna be okay. Okay, according to the app now, it does say 40 minutes, which I do not wanna wait 40 minutes for anything today, but we are moving so quickly throughout this line. I don't think I'm waiting the 40 minutes. I think that's for people getting in line right now. I literally don't believe this. Fry Bucket somehow got off the ride at one of those exits, probably behind us while I was asking the cast member which of the exits she might come out of. She's told me that she headed to Splash Mountain. What's great about Splash Mountain again is that there is a gift shop called Splashdown and we can wait in there and she will have to walk through. Actually, there's an inside exit and an outside exit. I saw a boat just turn around with people on it. So it's up, it's operating. Let's go see what the wait time is. Okay, Splash Mountain still says five minutes, so we're gonna hop in line. Now, this is the last week that Splash Mountain will be open with this theme. They are about to close it for construction. They are retheming the ride to Princess Tiana from Princess and the Frog. I am very excited for this retheme. I'm not too attached to this theme of Splash Mountain. It is sad because it's a classic going away, but I'm very excited for the new theming. It's gonna be really good. Here we go. She said that it was a five minute wait at Splash. So she will be getting off probably any minute at this point. There's an option for her to go outside and skip Splash down. But my guess is that she'll take the Splash down route. This is a great place to buy towels <laughs> and blankets. I also love this area. This will all be rethemed very soon. This is the last week Splash Mountain is open. So all of these particular theming details will likely go away. Okay, we did good because look, look at the line now. So good choice, everyone. Thank you for your suggestion. Um, good rope drop strategy which technically it's 1020, so it's no longer rope drop time. Fry Bucket got past me probably while I was feeling about Splashdown. She has gone to the river boat. I have to channel my scavenger hunt Fry Bucket today, running around. So there's the river boat. I wonder if they're close to leaving. 
Let's see if we can catch it. If you want a very in-depth video on Genie Plus, how to use it, great strategies for it, then you should definitely check out our Sneaky Genie Secrets video that is packed full of Genie Plus tips and tricks. And honestly, secrets. There are so many secrets in that video that people don't know about, but we've figured them out because we use Genie Plus every single day. We know Genie Plus like the back of our hands and we wanna help you and make sure that you can use it properly on your vacation. So go check out that video. Lots of great strategies in there. Okay, this is looking promising for the riverboat. Hi, good morning. Okay, <laughs> perfect timing. I walked up to the riverboat and it's 1025, it leaves at 1030. So here in a few minutes, they're gonna start calling for last call to get on the riverboat. So this is actually really good timing. I'm trying to see if I can find her at all. I don't see her. It takes me back to when I was a barefoot boy growing up alongside the river bank. Oh, fireworks! You no, know, it seems to me that when I was younger, I could remember. Where are the. Where's the exit? Um, there's one at the very end of that cobblestone mm -hmm. wall. Okay. And there's one at the very end of the pantry. So there are two exits here as well. Okay, great. I guess I have to just stand in the middle. I love all the shows and the parades. It's my favorite part about Disney. They just do it so well. Let's see, okay, it's 10.51. The rafts open at 11. They might open a minute or two early. So I'm heading to Tom Sawyer Rafts. I'm also kind of hungry. I need some breakfast. So if I can get on the Tom Sawyer Rafts right at 11, as I'm on Tom Sawyer. Hey look, Country Bears. Love you. Mwah. Aww. So if I can get on the rafts right at 11, and then I can book my next lightning lane at 11 as well. Oh, do I want a breakfast sandwich? No, not right now. I'm not that hungry yet. We're gonna head over here. Oh, there's kind of a line. So we're gonna head over here and hang out for a few minutes. I did call her and I said, what's going on? Where are you? I'm here waiting for you at the exit of the riverboat. And she said, oh no, I got off on the side closest to, to the Tom Sawyer's Island raft and I'm over here now about to get on it. Tom Sawyer Island, very quick raft ride, but I had to do it because it's a ride and it moves. Uh, there's a bunch of caves to explore. I don't have time to explore. We gotta get back on the raft and head to our next ride. That was really funny. Um, it was just me on the raft coming back off the island. I got back in line to get on the raft and the cast member was like, already done? And I said, yep. <laughs> While I was on the raft, I booked a lightning lane for Buzz and that is at 11.30. Now this works, and this is part of our sneaky genie secrets that we've found out. You can stack lightning lanes, it is possible. So right now in my app, it's currently 11.17. My lightning lane for Jungle Cruise has already started. It started at 11.15. So I've got Jungle Cruise at 11.15, and then Buzz at 11.30. So we've stacked them, we're gonna go back to back, and as soon as I scan in at Buzz, I can book another one. I can't tell, Genie Plus was $20 today, so it's kind of in the middle. It's not the lowest, so there's a little bit of crowds. I'm interested to see how busy it actually gets today. I'm here, and she's headed to, <laughs> she's headed to Jungle Cruise. This doesn't make any sense. Standby for Jungle is 50. This is a very popular attraction. This is what we recommend booking first thing at 7 a.m. It is currently 11.42. While I was on Jungle Cruise, I mobile ordered some corn dog nuggets at Casey's Corner because I'm getting a little hungry. So my mobile order time 
is from now, it's already started until 12.10. So I'm heading to Casey's Corner right now. And then also my Buzz Lightning Lane has already started and that ends at 12.30. So I'm gonna go grab my corn dog nuggets, eat them on the way to Buzz. Maybe we'll run into Breed Love along the way. Don't know where he is right now. I keep texting him, I update him where I'm at at all times. She's supposed to be pacing herself. This is this is this is not a good sign. She's gonna get exhausted. Maybe maybe she won't get exhausted. Maybe she has endless amounts of energy. Come on! I have things to do. Got my corn dog nuggets. Mobile ordered Casey's corner. They're very, very hot, but I need to eat them quickly. It's 11.53. I have until 12.30 to get over to Buzz. I am starving. She said that she was starving too and had to had to rest for a second. So I'm gonna meet up with her. We're gonna eat some Casey's and uh, hopefully I'll be able to stay with her for the rest of the day and not keep missing her. A sight for sore eyes. Everybody's gotta eat sometime. That's the only time you can catch fry bucket. That's what I've learned today. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to break bread with you and have a nice, long, relaxing, leisurely, luxurious lunch with you. I mean, I've got like two more minutes. Don't do this to me, fry bucket. Okay, Thank well now I gotta go. What? No, you have to eat everything off your plate. <laughs> what is that? Is that a hot dog? Yeah, it's the inside. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Vegan. <laughs> ew, ew, enjoy. Mm. It's like the Haunted Mansion on Main <laughs> Street. <laughs> Where are you going? Buzz, Buzz Lightyear. Okay. I love the Festival of Fantasy Parade. It is honestly my favorite parade I've ever seen. And it makes me very sad that I can't watch it today. But today, we have a challenge to complete. Thank you. While I was on Buzz Lightyear, I did snag a lightning lane for Dumbo at 12.45. So I'm gonna watch Carousel Progress and head over to Fantasyland for lightning lane for Dumbo. Um, let's see if we can find Breedlove. I told him that I was in the show. I think he's out here somewhere. I see her, I see her. Oh, I see him, I see him. I just saw how it happens. How I've missed you so many times. I know. You get moving, I get stuck behind people. Well, I mean, not that I ever saw you before, but anyway, I told as I texted you, I got us some nice paper fast passes, and we're gonna ride People Mover together oh, right now. Magical. Yeah, that's my dream of it, it wow. being the old days. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Kick back and relax. But no napping. No napping. I want to see the whites of your eyes at all times. Okay, we just got off People Mover. That was a very relaxing ride. Got to see a close-up of Tron Light Cycle Run, which I'm very super excited for. But I currently have a Genie Plus Lightning Lane for Dumbo. It has already started, so I'm gonna head that way. We do already have on our channel a video that Quincy and I did where we tried to get as many lightning lanes as possible in one day. And we got a lot. The number is over 20. So go check out that video. If you haven't seen it yet, it's also full packed with a bunch of Genie Plus tips and tricks. Dumbo is done. I got a lightning lane for It's a Small World for around 2.15. I wanted it to be a little bit quicker. With the recent changes to Genie Plus, you can now modify your selections after you have made them. I modified that Small World lightning lane, changed it to Barnstormer for 155. Currently, the shortest wait in the park right now of out of the list of things I still need is the carousel. It's 20 minutes, so we're gonna head over there. Okay, I'm currently in line for the carousel, but where did these balloons come from? 
Disney, does Disney sell those? Is that Disney property? go by riding in one of the back cars. How was it? It was so fun. Yeah, it looked fun. It's actually like, for a little kid coaster, yeah. it's actually pretty intense. I'm having this whole new experience of watching you ride rides. And it's very, um, it's it's very gratifying. Aww. Yeah, I'm I love it. For you. Okay. What's next? Lightning Lane for Mad Tea Party at 220. Oh, nice. Perfect timing. Perfect. Really, there's a fun attraction that I really like uh -huh. called you sit sitting down oh. and talking. Oh. Yeah. I heard of that one. Oh, it's cool. It's great. I think I can scan in already. All right. So I'll be back. Strategizing. Getting ready. Getting the plan of action together. what just happened but I did <laughs> excuse me I just inhaled my own spit because she is so fast you got off that ride so fast you came up behind me and scared me I wasn't even ready to start filming I'm so sorry all right fry bucket what have you decided I pulled Winnie the Pooh lightning lane for 355 so what are we doing now so now I think we're gonna hop in standby line for yes Mermaid. And am I with you? You are with me. What does that mean? That means you can ride it. You know I never turn down a chance to ride Tomorrowland Speedway. I mean, this is, do you want to drive? No. Oh. <laughs> are you pumped? I'm so excited. Is it scarier when you drive or is it scarier when someone else drives? Definitely scarier when I drive. Okay. Am I going to fit in there? Yeah. Oh. 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 Whoa. It's a long way down. It's a long way down. <laughs> oh. That was fun. What now? I think now we go ride the railroad <gasps> one lap around, and then by the time that's done, it'll be time for Winnie the Pooh. I love that idea. I've hit a wall. <laughs> You've hit a wall. <laughs> that's my line. <laughs> This is proof that I'm hydrating. Is there any part of you that's starting to regret this now? No. Okay. I just have to tell you, I'm I'm turning you over to the hands of those who are less delicate and compassionate. Mm -hmm. You know who those people are, don't you? Yes. Also, new passengers can safely hop aboard. Hey, friends. As we're arriving at the station, please remain fully seated. You're off to Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh. Pooh. Yes. I'm gonna find us beverages. That sounds wonderful. Time check, it's 4.30. I'm about to hop into this lightning lane right now. The wait time for Pooh is 40. So this is gonna be a good use of our lightning lane. Okay, this is what's happening right now. Monster energy drink. I asked Fry Bucket if she wanted one. She said that that was gonna be an 11 p.m. treat. But for me, whatever time it is right now feels like 11 p.m. Oh, 
will never reach that Fry Bucket said she was walking off now, and I fear that in the time it took to send that text message and for it to reach me, that she's already gone. All right, another one down. Poo, another classic Disney ride, love it. While I was in line for Poo, after I scanned in, I snagged a lightning lane for Peter Pan for later this evening at 9.45. I do now have to use that two hour pull down time because I cannot book another lightning lane and my next one isn't until 9.45. So plan right now is to go over to Small World. It's at 30 minutes, which isn't ideal, but it's the shortest wait time right now for everything else that I have in the park. Sure enough, she made it all the way over there in this little short amount of time. Well, I'm where she told me to come and I've got the loot. I'm just holding them out because I believe that if I hold out caffeinated beverages that she'll I don't need one of those yet. So what happens now? 30 minutes for Small World is the shortest wait. So I think okay. I'm going to do it. Great. Everything you... else is 45 Maybe I'll come ride this with you then. Come hang out. Fun fact, um, I've only ever had Red Bull once and I was in the third grade. And I had it because I was at a softball tournament and all the other girls had it. I went insane. And I've never had one since. What are you doing? I'm looking, I'm looking at my list. Look at all that green. Look at all that that, does that mean you you've done it already? Mm -hmm. Well, good job. Remember when you rode a carousel? Yeah. That was nice. What is, what's happening? So we're gonna do Magic Carpets of Aladdin. It's yeah. Minutes. Yeah. Thank you. And your rule is that <laughs> if it's thirty or under, that you ride it. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, we might park hop. What? What did you say? Yeah, you heard me. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we might park hop. Oh, we might park hop. So we have Lightning Lane for Seven Dwarfs and Peter Pan for later Great. this evening. What I have left is Magic Carpets, Astro Orbiter, Haunted Mansion, and Space. So Haunted Mansion and Space are way too long right now. We're gonna have to deal with those later. Astro Orbiter has been at least 45 all day. That'll go down later. So I'm thinking we ride this, hop over to Epcot, maybe do some of the rides in the front, then we'll come back to Magic Kingdom before nine and finish out Magic Kingdom. That sounds so fun. Oh, wow. That's why this ride has been Time check, it's 6.15. I would like to go over to Epcot for an hour, hour and a half tops maybe. Right. Knock out a few over there and then we're gonna come back to Magic Kingdom. This might be a risky decision. This might be a risky choice, but we're gonna do it. Okay. It's moving quickly, this machine. Some of them, you press the button. Oh. oh. Okay. That's down there. I'm, this is oh, a good. top five fuel rod machines Ooh. in Walt Disney World, right here. Back at the Emporium. And these are all fun rides. And these are not rides you're using Lightning Lane reservations for. No. These are standby weights. Mm -hmm. So 
I can ride them with you. Yes, we can like have fun Like it's the together. old days when you could just show up and have fun. Yeah. Five minutes for Nemo and friends. I know someone is hiding behind us to jump out and get me right there. One of these days they're gonna jump down from that. That's jellyfish! You're good. Jellyfish! Did you know that's an angler fish on a robotic arm? I kind of see it. Isn't that cool? I like it. I feel very much cozy and like I could sleep for a, a whole night right now. Only got what, four hours to go? How is she already all the way up there? All right, next, I think we're gonna head to one of my favorite rides over in the Land Pavilion. Is stopping to watch Awesome Planet part of the itinerary? It takes me on an emotional roller coaster through the harsh realities of global warming. The seat doesn't move. It will move if I gently shake my leg. <laughs> One of our mutual favorites. Yes. Oh. Talk about a walk-on. <laughs> What's next? I think Figment. Oh. Figment, it's right next door. Five minute wait. Knock another one out. My feet hurt. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> they hurt now? I'm here chaperoning her, supposedly, but I think it might be the other way around. <laughs> but you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Well, we've procured chips and guacamole. Sustenance. Sustenance. We're doing good. We're making good progress. Where are we going now? Back to Magic Kingdom. Okay, fun. You're almost done. I was about to say we're almost done, but I'm not almost done. I know, I feel You're guilty. I, I feel so incredibly tired that I can't fathom how you would ever keep going more hours tonight, let alone all day tomorrow also. Have you done this before? No. Where you've stayed up for several days? No, I have not. Really? Mm -mm. Oh, so this is the time you learn that it's a horrible idea? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Can't wait to watch this video and see what happens tomorrow when Sage is your babysitter. Now I'm, I'm, I'm crashing hard. We're almost there. <sighs> See how sweet she is, cheering me on when she's the one who's got the long, impossible journey. Well, this is the slightly less convenient connection. Mm -hmm. We have to fully exit and get back in line for the express monorail to Mon Magic Kingdom. chips and guacamole from Mexico and Epcot mm -hmm. as the express Mount Monorail to Magic Kingdom arrives. This is a mood. You okay. are truly a woman of the world. back around this corner. I may not be seeing Fry Bucket for a while. Wow. 
but we're together and I feel meditative and did you almost fall? Yeah, there was a step down. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what's next? Okay, this is working out really, really well. Great. It is 8.36 right now. Yes. Astro Orbiter's 20 minute wait. We're okay. Go do that. Perfect. The rest, the remaining four rides, I all have lightning lanes for, and they are back to back to back to back. Great. I almost didn't make it into this seat. I think I'm too old for this fry bucket. He's all the way down there. What is he doing? Why are you so far? <laughs> I, I couldn't, I looked back and you weren't there. <laughs> okay, I haven't been on this in a while. I can understand why Emma doesn't like this one. <laughs> this is kind of scary. Wait, wait a minute. Did you blast off? Did you blast off? Shockingly thrilling. Yeah. Shocking. Very Shockingly shocking. thrilling. Oh my goodness. Have I ever been on that at night? Why did it speed up at the end? Where, why did you go away? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I got four rides left. I've got lightning lanes for all of them. Okay. Standby is 105 minutes. Oh no. I must do lightning lane. Well, that's what you're not doing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is this the lightning lane return? Yes. Don't say that. <laughs> oh no. I think I have a little wait. This is this is as long as uh, as some queues you've been in for. I know standby today okay well this is where i leave you excuse us friends What's the posted wait time? 40 minutes. Do you think it's going to be that long? Hopefully not. Though. You look dead tired. <laughs> has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Serpents and spiders, tail of a rat, call in the spirits. Look, I just got a photo pass notification while riding. This is very meta. Oh my God. Why do I look like that? <laughs> we weren't ready. Why do I look shocked? <laughs> What's happening now? I'm hopping it. It's 9.45 on the dot. My lightning lane for Peter Pan just started, so I'm gonna go ride that. And then my last one is Space Mountain. Okay, 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 okay. So, And Space I will... Mountain is back up. Oh good, okay. It came back up. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Look, this is my favorite part. Look, it's me, Quincy, and Emma. It's all three of us hanging out. Look, I stay here. Now? To space. What's happening? I don't know, but you know what they need to do? What? With the next edition of the Magic Pans? Yes. There needs to be a, a watch element. A watch on it. So that I can see what time it is, because that's what I want to do, and well, there's no time. That's good. Enjoy, have fun. I'm gonna sit here at Cosmic Rays and take a load off for a minute. Okay, it's 10.07. I have a lightning lane for Space Mountain at 10. It freaked me out earlier because space was down, closed temporarily for quite a while, but it's back up. So I am about to finish my list of rides for today before the park even closes. That is wild. Can I actually do this? Can I do this? 
Oh my goodness, it's so empty. This is weird. I don't think I've ever seen it this empty before. You did it. I did it. You I'm done. Completed Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom is done. And I did three rides in Epcot, and yep. there's still 40 minutes of park time. Wow. That's awesome. I did 27 rides today. Un unbelievable. Woo. Well, I got to get you to Quincy. Yep. For um, the trade off. Yes. Uh, the plan, I just texted Quincy that I'm off on my last ride, so she's headed this way. She was going to bring me coffee and have it ready. But she all, is? Well, she was. Oh, but yeah. All the Starbucks around right. close at 9. So I'm probably going to get us both coffees on the way out at the bakery. Great. Yes, bakery. because that's a Starbucks that's open. Yes. Are you double fisting? I am. Well, they're not both mine. Okay. Oh, right. One's for Quincy. One's for Quincy. Okay, good. What? How will I know it's her? Did she say you'll know? Yeah, she said you'll know when it's me. Is it? Does she have like a Shrek car, and we don't, we know, we don't know. If she does, that's new. Yeah. Oh, I think I found her. What? <laughs> oh, magical. <laughs> so magical. Get in, loser. Let's stay up all night. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm going to bed, but I'm saying a prayer <laughs> for you. Fry Bucket, it's been a pleasure spending the day with you. It was a wonderful day. Please take care of her. I will. It's my child. unfathomable my what son. she's been through already. I can't imagine. I tried really hard to give her a fun day so she'll like me. Yeah. Thank you for doing so. Of course. But I'm gonna give her a more fun night. I know so. you are. I know you are. It's 12 11. 12 11. We're in Peekaboo with our nachos. Doing good. It's 1 a.m. 1 a.m. It's 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> it's only gonna get weirder. It's 3 a.m. and we got ice cream at Speedway. Yeah, we did. 24 hours. It's 4 a.m. and we just had White Castle listening to Veggie Tales. New Veggie Tales songs <laughs> do not live up to the old Veggie Tales songs. They don't. This one is good. This is a good song. This is a good one. <laughs> good song. Okay, it's 5 a.m. We made it to the water. <laughs> Good. Okay, it's 6 30. 6 30 in the morning, day two. I've got my next cup of caffeine. <laughs> and there's Quincy Capri Sun. with her Capri Sun. So we're hanging out here for a few minutes because pretty soon I'm gonna have to start booking Genie Plus stuff at 7 a.m. So we're gonna... And I'm going home and going to bed. Good for you. You wanted this. I know, I know. My strategy for day two is not fully formed yet because we're gonna wait and see what I can grab at 7 a.m. when I can start booking stuff for Genie Plus. So at this point in time, I don't know where I'm going first. I don't know which park. I have a reservation for Epcot at the moment, but that might change. So, we'll see what happens. Also, if you can't tell, I went home, I changed clothes, I changed my contacts, I brushed my teeth, put on more deodorant. So, now I'm ready for day two. And I watched her the whole time. This woman has not gotten a wink of sleep. Don't you worry. I'm awake. That was a pretty shot of me. Okay, your shift is over. Godspeed, you got this. Thank you. And if you don't got this, 
That's okay. This was a ridiculous challenge for you to come up with. It was. But we like big ideas here. We do like big ideas here. I'm gonna go go to bed. Please go to sleep. We'll see. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, good morning. It is day two of my no sleep challenge. It is currently 8.42 a.m. The park opened to everyone at 8.30, so it took me a few minutes to get scanned into the park. Currently on my way to Slingy Dog Dash. That is my first rope drop pick of today. I have already made a lightning lane selection for tower at 12.55, and I also have already bought Flight of Passage individual lightning lane for somewhere in the four o'clock range. So it's later on in the afternoon. So here's my plan. I'm here at studios. I'm gonna try and knock all of these out before two. Then I tried to get the Guardians virtual queue this morning at 7 a.m. I did not get it. So then I changed my plans and said, okay, well, I'm going to studios instead. So my plan is to get all of the rides done in studios before two. Hopefully way before two, because as soon as I am able to scan into Epcot, I'm going to, and I'm gonna try, hopefully, the 1 p.m. virtual queue is not full. So hopefully I'll be able to do that, right at two, get Guardians out of the way, finish up some Epcot rides, and then hop over to DAC. All right, Fry Bucket is currently in Toy Story Land. I've got my coffee, I've got her coffee. Let's go check on it. It's only it's only been one night so far. I can't can't imagine it's been can't imagine she, she, it's gonna be that bad, right? She's still gonna be pretty motivated and such. I'm excited. I'm determined. There's a small, small, so small chance that I get this done today. I'm not very hopeful, <laughs> but I'm going to try my best, try my hardest, and we'll see how this goes. So we can do it. Here it is. Coffee time. Are you okay? How was your night? Long. Okay. But you're you're feeling okay though. Okay. Well, well, good spirits, baby. We're gonna get good spirits all day. Let's go. <laughs> Walk in a straight line, Fry. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta put my next lighting lamp. Are you, are you awake? Kind of. This is something that I would do, but I would never make anyone else do it. Please tell me some. At least tell me you were also involved in the creative aspect of this challenge. Oh, absolutely. Okay, yeah. good. And someone was like, "This would be a great idea. Let's make Fry Bucket do it." Okay. Where are you headed? Wait, what's, what's the next one? Okay, so I just booked Toy Story Mania. Okay. At ten fifty. But I think we can go knock out Star Tours standby because it's only 25 minutes. Done. All right, Star Tours, baby. <laughs> oh, I've never waited outside before. All right, so the game plan is Fry Bucket's got uh, Toy Story Mania at 10.50. We're going to wait in uh, Star Tours. It says a 25 minute wait, but I've never, I've literally never waited out here before. So, let's we'll see what happens. Wait a minute. That droid is small and feisty. Wait a minute. Oh, don't do something! You want to build a super weird lightsaber on No Sleep? That might be really fun, but we got some rides to ride. Alright, I figured I'd check just in case. We're headed to uh, Toy Story Mania, yeah? I want to experiment and go towards the end of my lightning lane time. Got it. So I think on my way over there, I might do single rider smugglers and then do Toy Story Mania after that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Safety first, Quincy called me, wanted me to check in because apparently, you know, I just want to make sure I can call this at any time. How are you feeling? I mean, Star Tours made me a little woozy. Yeah. And it, it might not be smart to go from Star Tours immediately to Smuggler's Run, but that's what we're gonna do. All right. Oh my gosh. 
That is the line for resist, uh, Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, last time I checked, it was 160 feet. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you know, so you know this this big stone in the middle. I forget what it's called, but I do know that if you touch it, it brings you good luck, and you need all the luck. I mean, it's good fortune. It's good luck, good fortune. You did it. You ready? So ready. This is a long, dark hallway. I've never. I've never done single ride. Right? <laughs> She told me that her, like, like the thing that she looks forward to, here in Galaxy Dad, the thing that's gonna keep her going, some snacks. So, I know she loves a good Ronto wrap uh, in 2020 when uh, all the stuff was happening. She learned how to make herself uh, a Ronto wrap at home. So, let's get her a Ronto wrap. <laughs> All right, Ronto wrap achieved. Time to nourish a sleepy fry bucket. She's actually doing really well. For, for no sleep so far, I cannot imagine doing this for another day. I mean, I'm hoping she can finish it out today. With Rise of the Resistance, I, it just, it's not looking too hot. She might have to do this one more time. I bring gifts. <laughs> Quickly! I know we're here at Toy Story Mania, but if you need to relax and sit down and eat your, and eat your Ronto wrap, you should do that. No, don't, <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> All right, the fry bucket has one minute left. <laughs> Lightning lane ends at 11.50. Now, typically there is about a five to ten minute window after Lightning Lane, but she's she wants to see she wants to do a little experiment. What happens if you go at the very end of your lightning lane? You ready? Bye! Now, Fred Bucket did just, you know, go in on a Ronto wrap, and people are, you know, prone to motion sickness. You probably shouldn't ride this attraction. At least that's what the warning is, and I'm hoping that doesn't bite us in the butt. <laughs> I have never felt more like a parent than right now in this moment, as I'm just like waiting. I feel like I'm waiting for my daughter to be like, okay, I'm at the end of the ride here. Hope you had a good ride. Make, make, make sure to meet me at the end of the, when you get off the ride, I'll be right here. She's out, she made it. After three motion simulator rides in a row, how do you feel? My tummy hurts. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, three, three, a most of the rides and a Ronto wrap. <laughs> Not a good combination. <laughs> plan right now yeah. is to go to Rockin' and do single rider. Rockin' single rider. Three motion simulator rides, a Ronto wrap, and now a roller coaster. Oh yeah, we're having a good time. Good time. It's a good, 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 good time. Oh no! Single rider line is currently closed. Oh no, that ruins my plan. That ruins your plans. Okay, quick, let's step to the side, let's regroup, let's go. You gotta regroup. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. Maybe we do standby, Aliens Rolling Saucers, for yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. It'd be about the same time as my lightning lane anyways. Okay. Cancel that lightning lane and maybe see if we can get Mickey and Minnie's get or Rockin'. I, I, you, don't, you don't have it. I don't think we have a choice. Yeah. It's, standby <laughs> is 90 minutes for rock and roll because mm -hmm. you've got and you got to make this happen. But here's the thing. Mickey and Minnie's and Rock and Roller Coaster lightning lane aren't until after 4. Oh. And by four, I need to be at Epcot. Okay, so 90 minutes. How long How long until Alien Trilling Saucer? Your, your spotlight. Um, it starts at 1240. What time is it now? It is 1220. We have 20 minutes until it starts, but then we have an hour. Um, okay, so that would, so Rock Roller Coach just went down to 80 minutes. Okay. okay. Do you think you could brave one of these lines and then make it in time for... Alien Trolling Saucers? 80 minutes from now. That would be the end of Alien Trolling Saucers. the very end of your Alien Trolling Saucer. It'd be a risk. Like a hot, like a high calculated risk. Oh my gosh. 
But if you're gonna go that route, you've got to you've got to make that, like, that decision yeah. now. The app still says 90 for rocking. Who closed the single rider entrance? Yeah, I just want to talk. Okay, clear deliberation and and negotiating and and and, and strategy. What did we end up doing? So we changed the lightning lane time for alien swirling saucers. We pushed it back a little bit from 110 to 210. That should give us enough time to go ride Mickey and Minnie's standby 80 minutes. Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway. Wait, what? We forgot. I have a lightning lane for tower at 12:55. Oh shh. No. Who closed the single rider line? I think this is the most high stakes I felt so far. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. So we're gonna go, we're still gonna brave Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. Mm -hmm. 80 minutes, hoping it's a little bit shorter. That takes us to 150. Yes. And her lightning lane reservation for a Tower of Terror ends at 155. Yes. Now there is a five to 10 minute like grace period window after that, but <laughs> we're, not we're not calculating. <laughs> <laughs> actually being on the ride either yeah so this is a definitely a calculated risk things are getting dicey dicey okay it's gonna go down i believe it i can feel it, can feel it. it says 80 minutes it really means 60. okay we're on the Hurt runway railway the pre-show this is such a bad mistake i did not anticipate bringing you to a dark theater whatever you do don't fall asleep i feel like yoda don't, don't you do it. You guys over. Alright, we're gonna have to do something after this to get your energy up. We're gonna run the tower is what we're gonna do. Yeah, which is another dark area. We've got we've gotta get you something. <laughs> It was a calculated risk, but it was worth it. Was it was? Okay. Uh, how the, the line was really only from the from the beginning of the line to the pre-show was what was it? Fifty minutes. 50, yeah. It was fifty minutes, which means we have ten minutes left. Now I'm I won't be able to go into Tower of Terror with you, which means you will be. I can't do Buzzfeed quizzes with you. Oh, no. You will be left to your own devices. But it shouldn't be that long because it's lightning lane. Yes, but it, you still go through the boiler room. Oh no. Which is so dark. Not the boiler room. Not the boiler room. Okay, next up we've got Tower of Terror, the classic elevator drop ride that pulls you down faster than the speed of gravity. She is left up to her own devices. She was, her eyes were getting really heavy and Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. So I'm hoping she gets to the line quickly because if she falls asleep, the challenge is over. I love the Twilight Zone TV show. So I'm all about this ride. It's back open. Okay, so you can ride the line is back open. Fry's gonna lose it. Okay, it's back open. Alright, let's go wait for Fry at the exit. Putting I'm putting it out there. She's not gonna fall asleep in the boiler room. I'm putting it out there. texted me saying that the single rider for Rockin is back open. Um, so I think I'm gonna skip my Alien Swirling Saucers lightning lane. And we're gonna go hop in the single rider line for Rockin. It is also now 2 p.m. I can park hop. I would like to park hop very soon because I need to get started in Epcot again. So I've got here in Hollywood Studios, I still have Rockin, which I'm gonna go do right now. Single rider. Alien Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Are you awake to the work? I'm awake now. Yes. Oh my word. Uh. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Just two minutes to make it to her alien swirling sa uh, saucers, lightning lane. 
this is the, this the run because we, can, we can't run so it's a quick walk you know that like sporty moms do and they're matching jog and they're matching joggers matching track suits with <laughs> the hips and the, sh and the chardonnay i don't care what anyone says fry bucket is a speed demon i also hate what my apple watch reads me for filth it's like are you working out right now no i'm a 6'3 man and she i i don't even know where she is anymore okay we're so close we're in chester lane and i'm so out of breath oh i can see it i can see it also i'm out of water oh have fun she just ran into a pole she ran into a pole <laughs> wow we did it we did it i'm in stand i'm not in standby i'm in the lightning lane Woo. oh wait that means i can make another one i think no <sighs> okay here's what i'm thinking alien swirling saucers i'm about to do then we're gonna go back to sunset boulevard and do I'm so out of breath. Um, single rider for Rockin'. Then we're gonna leave Hollywood Studios. The only ride I have left would be Rise of the Resistance. It's over two hours. I'm not doing that right now. That could potentially be my last ride of the night. Maybe I come back and ride it then. Just so proud of you, honey. You're gonna do so good, honey. You did it. There's no deadline. Like, there's no lightning lane. No, there's not. So you don't have to. You don't have to run. Because I need to go to another park. Oh, that's true, that's true. Single rider. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, there she is. She's headed through the single rider entrance. She's been up for 32 hours at this point. It's been about 20 minutes. I haven't moved a whole lot. She still has to do two other parks. <laughs> All right, I've done my best. I've tried to set it up. So Emma is actually gonna be at the uh, pick up and drop off area at Hollywood Studios at three o'clock. The single rider line is looking like it's gonna be around 30 to 45 minutes. So Emma might have to do just a little bit of waiting, but that way, as soon as Fry, as soon as Fry Bucket is done, she can head to the front of the park, hop in Emma's car, and they can take it from there. Fry Bucket to you, I say. Godspeed. Stay safe. It is 3.15. I am on my fry duty now. I have a Coke for her. I have some chicken nuggets for her. And we're gonna see how this goes. Night, evening two. <sighs> oh, my word. Rockin' did me dirty. Rockin' did me so dirty. I got in line at 2.35. I'm just now getting off the ride. It is four o'clock. So that's not great for the rest of my challenge. Um, I'm gonna try my best to keep going. I can do this. I don't even, I can't even do the math right now of how long that was that I waited in line. What is that, an hour and a half? I don't know, something like that. Okay. Now, Sage has left me because he has other obligations and he had to go before I could get out. So shout out to Sage for hanging out with me all day. Sage was so nice that even while he had to go, he set up for me a ride to take me from studios to Epcot. So we're heading that way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at it. Look at it. Cold nuggets for you. <laughs> Thank you. You poor child. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. There's no more ice. But it'll, you know what? It's okay. It's, it's okay. More Kevin. Okay, Emma, here's my plan. Okay. I have Cosmic Rewind at 420. Gotcha. We're going to Epcot right now. Then I have Flight of Passage at 450. Okay. And Everest at 445. I originally got Everest for 415 and I just modified it to 445. Okay. So those are our next. So strategy wise, I think I should just drop you off and then stay in the car. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Yeah. 
that's the only way to get you from one place to the next. So here's the thing. I just dropped Fry off. We're at Epcot. It's about 4.15 right now. She's headed straight to her Guardians of the Galaxy individual lightning lane. But frankly, I could not do this. Like I'm telling you point blank right now, what she's done right now, I physically could not do. I could not stay awake. I could not do all of these things. So the fact that more than likely she's going to have to stay awake for a second night in a row, I just don't know. Like it's stressful. It's freaking me out. Like I just don't know. <laughs> Okay, just got off Guardians. Now we're going straight back to the parking lot to get back in Emma's car and we're gonna hop to Hannibal Kingdom for my next lightning lane that I think has already started. We've got an hour, so we'll be fine. All right, to Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Woo. Oh, there we go. Thank you. We gotta, we gotta hurry because I think the last safari is about to leave. The sun is actively going down. <laughs> so we gotta go. Heading straight to safari and then you have lightning lanes. You're killing it. Oh, You're gonna do great. We're doing so good. I'm almost out of coke. I can get you more coffee. Oh, Don't worry. Thank you. That's my role here. Okay, Animal Kingdom is making up for my rockin' mishap, the lore. Because Safari's was a 10 minute wait. We got on the last one, so we're good. About to head to Everest for my lightning lane that has already started. Then right after that, I have two more. I don't remember what they are. Animal Kingdom does close at seven tonight. So we have about two hours yes. to finish up Animal Kingdom and kind of start it too. Yes. But You're doing great. I think we can do it. I feel good. Safari was 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Last time we checked, Dinosaur was only 15. So Also, Cali River Rapids is closed for refurbishment. Yes. So unfortunately, oh, no. I can't ride Cali River Rapids. That's my, have, that's my best day ever. So all throughout the day, I've been stacking lightning lanes. So about every two hours or so, or if I scanned into one, I would get another one. I was able to stack lightning lanes. So earlier in the day, I started picking lightning lanes that would help me out later on. And that's why I have so many and they're all right in a row. Good travelers. Thank you. Made it with five minutes to spare on my flight of passage lightning lane. Okay, flight of passage is done. My Navi River journey lightning lane just started at 610. So we're heading straight to the other side of Pandora. All right, so while Fry, she just finished up on Fly Pass and she's now heading over to Navi River Journey, I am going to grab her a cheeseburger pond from Satuli Canteen. Try to keep that small little body going. This is the dedication that this woman has. She's literally eating on the go. Have you eaten sitting down one time in the past two days? Like, have you sat down in two days other than transportation? I stood at Casey's Corner and ate. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. And now you're almost a dinosaur. You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> this place is empty. It, I mean, it was only a 10 minute standby wait, but. <laughs> I'm the only one in the pre show. This is wild. <laughs> Last ride of Animal Kingdom. You coming? Woo, woo. Both I'm coming. Okay. This is so weird and funny. I, I know. Okay, we are walking out of Animal Kingdom now. It is now seven o'clock. The park is closed and we are done here. We're gonna head back to Epcot, see if we can finish out the rest of the Epcot rides. I have a good feeling about it. I think I've gotten my, I don't know what number we're on, seventh wind. You truly are running on the grease from fries in your soul. Yes. Like that's all I know right now. How? I'm tired. I've been here for two hours and I sat on a rock. 
I don't know, man, but I want to do it so badly. And just like that, I'm back in Epcot. <laughs> I was here three hours ago. All right, next lightning lane. I'm walking towards Soren. We've got six rides left in Epcot. It is 7.30, park closes at nine. So hopefully I can do Soren. Do a couple more fillers, quick ones. Grand Fiesta Tour, five minutes. Test track, I'll do single rider. Hopefully that's short. I think the wait time is 50 minutes right now. Um, Grand Fiesta Tour. There's one more that's short that I need to do. Um, I don't know, this is gonna be kind of close. I really want to finish Epcot tonight. Okay, it's 8 p.m. We have one hour until the park closes. All right, we're gonna try for Test Track. Oh yeah, it was a walk-on. Thank you, Test Track Single Rider. Time check, it's 8.23, just got off Test Track. Next, we're gonna try Mission Space. Oh, green's only a five minute. Sorry guys, I'm doing green, not orange. Follow the markers on the floor to our next train. And you can now. Mission control to X2. You are go and throttle up. Okay, it's currently 8.43. I'm walking out of mission space. It's 8.43, the park closes at nine. My goal would be to hop really quickly onto Grand Fiesta Tour, ride that, and then somehow, I am miracle if I can do it, get in line for Frozen Ever After right at nine at park close. Okay, so I made it to the Joffrey's over by the Mexico Pavilion, but Fry decided she wants to wait on the hot chocolate until she really needs a little pick-me-up. So I'm gonna wait for her here in the Mexico Pavilion so that way we can hop on Grand Fiesta Tour together. We're gonna cut through the Odyssey building. It's gonna be close, y'all. I don't know about this. Yeah, I think she's hitting her wall because she's asked me to go ahead and go get the uh, uh, Joffrey now. That's a good sign to me that she's getting pretty tired. So I'm gonna go grab her her hot chocolate. I think Emma is currently in line to get us a snack. So I'm gonna ride Grand Fiesta Tour. I know we'll meet back up after. Here we go, here we go. Okay, hot chocolate secure. We ended up getting it from uh, Kringla Bakery. She texted me that she was in the final scene for Grand Fiesta Tour when she decided that she did officially want this. So here is this for her, and I'm waiting for her at the Frozen Line, which is her goal to be here by the end of the night. Okay, I am walking off of Grand Fiesta Tour. She has to be in line in the next three minutes, or they won't let her in. It is literally 8.57. I have three minutes to get to Norway and get in the Frozen Ever After line. Emma is waiting there for me with hot chocolate. Ooh, people are running. It's literally 8.59. And look what she did. She made it. It says 40 minutes. I have a strong feeling it won't be at all. in all three parks. All three? Mm -hmm. She's been awake for a long time. There are four parks. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's okay. You're doing good. It's 11 p.m. and I'm filming an RTD. It's midnight. I don't know. <laughs> Yay. We're really tired. We are. It's 1 a.m. and I'm doing a lot of laundry because I spilled coffee on my new sweatpants yesterday, so. All right, so it's about 2.45 and Fry's been working most of the night, but I've not really heard from her. I can hear that she's listening to videos. But I don't think she's moved. And I'm really nervous. So I'm gonna go see if she's still awake. Pepper cameo. Hey, Fry. Fry. Did you fall asleep? I think it's like, I think like, like, did you fall asleep? What time? It's 2.30. Hi! Okay. It's okay. Just go to sleep. 
We'll talk in the morning. <laughs> no. It's okay. Pepper, come on. <laughs> All right, well. Don't worry, I'm alive. I'm okay. Um, but obviously I did not complete the challenge because I did fall asleep, but that's okay. I'm okay with it, it's fine. But let's talk, um, let's talk about the results of this experiment, of this challenge. I started the challenge at 6.30 a.m. on Sunday. I'm gonna need the editor to check my math because I don't totally trust my brain right now, but I think that means I was up for 44 hours, which is wild and insane. And I do not encourage anyone to do that. But once I was asleep, um, I was asleep for 12 hours and I'm about to take a nap once I'm done with this video. So <sighs> now, while you will not be completing the no sleep challenge, this video was a good way to show you how much you can really get done in Disney World in a short amount of time. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of pre-planning and a lot of Genie Plus knowledge and experience, but I was able to get so many rides done in just two days. So if you have a quick trip to Disney World and you want to get as much done as possible, use some of these strategies. Use some of our Genie Plus strategies that we talk about in our videos because as I just showed you, it is very possible. We do learn a lot when we do these challenges. That's the whole point of doing it. Sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes we're successful, but all in all, we do this so that we can provide research for you and so that you will be able to better plan for your future vacations. So it's all about providing you with the best information out there. Now, if you watch all of our videos, you watch our Genie Plus videos, learn about strategies, all of that, you can do this too. Please sleep. Please sleep in between your park days. I rode 27 rides on day one and 20 rides on day two. So I rode a total of 47 rides in two days. And I think, I think that's pretty good if I do say so myself. Also of the four rides that I had left, they were in three different parks. I, I, that would have been a lot. That would have been a lot. So I'm okay that I didn't complete this challenge. However, now I'm kind of determined to do it again. Maybe with sleeping, with not even maybe, with sleeping involved this time. But maybe I try it again and just try to do all the Disney World rides in two days with sleep, of course. But I that might, I don't know. I don't know. I. I'm not of sound mind right now, so maybe that's ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> I also had 14 different um, caffeinated beverages. That was 14. I don't think I took a picture of the coffee that I had in the Waffle House because I had two coffees at Waffle House because our server was very nice. So I had one coffee in the Waffle House and then we do have a picture of Quincy and I with our to-go coffees. So there was 14, but I didn't get a picture of the, in, of the mug. So, okay, I'm gonna go back to bed and I'm gonna say goodbye to the world for probably another 12 hours.